Hello students, welcome to Debs Coding Hub and today I am going to publish a video for class 5 of my school. This is based on the chapter 4 and this is the part 1 of the video which is based on Microsoft Word 2007. So let's start. first topic we are going to discuss is what is Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is a word processing software developed by Microsoft Corporation US. It is an application software using which we can write letters, create reports and other documents containing text and graphics in an attractive way. So what is Microsoft Word? It is basically an application software. It is used to create documents. And these documents could be any kind of document. It could be letters, it could be reports, or it could be any other type of document. So let us see how we can run Microsoft Word. To run Microsoft Word, we have to click on Start, the Start button, and click on All Programs, point to Microsoft Office, and then I should choose, or you should choose, Microsoft Office Word 2007. If you do so, you will be able to get the Microsoft Word interface. Or what you can do, you can use the run dialog box to run it. So you can press Windows and R. You can see the Windows key in your keyboard along with Windows key. If you simultaneously press R, so if you press Windows R simultaneously, you will get the run dialog box. In the run dialog box, you need to type the executable file name of Microsoft Word, which is WinWord. After you type WinWord in the open box, next thing you need to do is to click on OK button. If you click on OK button, you will be able to see the interface of Microsoft Word. topic we are going to learn is it is all about the Microsoft Word window so after we run Microsoft Word from the run dialog box or from the menu we will get to see this interface of Microsoft Word 2007 now let us identify the different components of Microsoft Word window. On the top of the window, a horizontal bar is there which is called title bar. Remember, to the left of the title bar, we always get the office button. Remember, in 2007 only, we get office button. Then, we have the quick access toolbar. It generally contains three options, save, undo, and redo. And at the center of the title bar, we get to see the name of the document or file that is opened in Microsoft Word. By default, the document that is opened when you open Microsoft Word is called Document 1. And this is the name of the application which is Microsoft Word. And to the right side of the title bar, we have these three window buttons. First one is Minimize, second one is Maximize or Restore, 
and third one is close. I think you are acquainted with these buttons. Next thing you have to identify is the tabs and the command ribbons. So this rectangular area is called the command ribbon. As you select and this are called tabs. As you select a particular tab, its corresponding command ribbon is displayed here. So for every tab, we get different options in the command ribbon. Beneath the command ribbon, we have the ruler. Now ruler is horizontally placed here and it is vertically placed here. You can follow the mouse to understand. So this is the vertical ruler and this is the horizontal ruler. It helps us to set measurement you need and set measurement inside the document area. Now next thing is the document window. This white area in the Microsoft Word is called the document window and in the document window page is displayed. This small toothpick cursor or icon is called not icon cursor is called insertion point. It indicates that if you type your type letters will be starting from this particular marker. Then we have the scroll bars. We have two scroll bars like we have two rulers horizontal and vertical so this is the horizontal scroll bar and this is the vertical scroll bar you can follow my mouse so if i have a document which is so big it doesn't fit within a single window both horizontally and vertically so i can scroll to see the other part of the document by using this scroll bars Next, at the bottom right corner, we have the zoom control or the zoom slider. There is a slider. If we drag that slider, we will be able to enlarge or shrink, decrease the view of the document. Now, all these are called view buttons or view shortcuts. So, we can change our document to different views by using these buttons. And at the bottom, this bar is called status bar. Remember, view shortcuts or view buttons and zoom control, both are placed in the status bar. Along with these two, status bar is also used to display the status of the document in terms of number of pages it has, in which page you are currently in. So all this can be shown in the status bar at the left side of the status bar. Next topic is creating a new blank document. Creating a new blank document means how do I create new file or new document in Microsoft Word. For this you have to click on the office button then I will get this menu displayed then you have to click on the new when you click on new you will be able to click on this new button and after that you will get this new document dialog box in this dialog box you have to select the blank document and then what you need to do you need to click on create button if you do so you'll be able to create a new document or new blank document or what you can do you can press the shortcut control n to create a new document directly the next topic is how do i type data in the document 
or typing text in the document. So this is our Microsoft Word window. I have my insertion point in my window and I can directly start typing. From the insertion point, it will keep on adding text I type. So let us see. I typed all this. So as I have completed typing what I want to now I want to save this document why because when you create a document it is not permanently saved in your computer's storage or hard drive it is in your memory so we need to save the document for permanent use that means if you want to make this file permanent so that you can close it as well as open it later on you have to save it first so let us see how we can save so our topic is saving the document we have created so this is the document we have created for saving the document we need to click on this save button on the quick access tool and then I'll get the save as dialog box. In the save as dialog box, I can change the file location. I may not change the file location. For now, you have to know that if I don't change the location, it will be stored in the documents folder. So I'm not changing anything. Now there is a file name box. I have to type the file name in the file name box. So let me type the name of the file. I have typed chapter 4 as I am doing chapter 4 in the file name box and then I have to click on this save button. If I click on the save button, the file will be saved with the name chapter 4 and it will be stored in the documents folder. So let us move to the next topic. Our next topic is closing the document I am currently working with I'm closing the document so you have to again click on the office button if we click on the office button then we will be able to click on the close close option in the menu so how do I do so this is how I will do this this is our document suppose I have clicked on the office button follow my mouse and I have clicked on the close button then my document will be closed our next topic is opening an existing document in this case what we have done we have created a document named chapter 4 and we have closed it now there is no open document in Microsoft Word so to open a document what should I do let us see what should we do to open an existing document again you have to click on office button then we'll click on open we'll get the office button I've clicked there this particular menu opens then I have to click on open if i click on open i'll be able to get a dialog box called open dialog box and now as it is already opening in documents i have to go for my document which is chapter 4 so let us find chapter 4 so i have found chapter 4 i've clicked on the chapter 4 and then i've clicked on the open button if i do so i'll be able to open that document again our next topic is keyboard shortcuts we can use to perform this task. First one is creating a new document. To create a new document, I have to press Ctrl plus N. That means together we have to press Ctrl and the N key. 
the next topic is saving a document the shortcut for saving a document how to save a document and the press the shortcut control s next one is opening an existing document for this you have to press control o next shortcut we are going to learn is close active document that means the document which is currently active or on in which you are working with okay i want to close that so the shortcut will be control f4 so let us revise the shortcuts again create a new document control n save a document control s open an existing document control o and close active document control f4 that's all for today's class if you have liked my video you just share it to your friends and please subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on the notification icon or the bell icon what is the advantage of clicking on the bell icon after this class subscribe if i upload a video you get a notification on your mobile phone so that you need not have to see my youtube channel whether there is a video for you or not if a video is uploaded you'll be getting a notification that's all for today thank you have a nice day